what you see is a fascinating rover a rover made by students for a challenge given by the indian space research organization i have with me the team member who made this robot and i have with me dr pawan goenka the chairman of the indian national space promotion and extension dr goenka is the person who will decide how these things will get used in the country can you explain to me one give me your name and what this robot can do hello everyone my name is sanjot sanjay kawe and i am from yashwantra chauhan college of engineering nagpur and team lead for team titans this is our rover gurutva this rover was made for isro's robotic challenge and we were given a problem statement for a pick up and retrieving sample tube so as i will demonstrate on the that how it will be working so it can move on its own yes sir on command from your ipad or whatever this yes sir now the thing is now happening is the pick up sequence it will going to look for the red tube which is be shown and it will accordingly pick the red tube and keep it in its safety secure con contraception so right now you configured it that you given a command from your mobile uh, laptop and then it is going to do what yes, you require yes sir it's completely autonomous i am not controlling i am just given a command to pick the tube so it is like picking a sample from the moon and bringing it back into the vikram lander for taking off correct sir as we know that chandrayaan 4's mission is to retrieve the moon solar uh, sorry the lunar sample so that's the sub part of that to retrieve the sample tube what is the wait and how long can it uh, last or dur uh, endurance so its weight is around 13 to 14 kgs and in the single battery charge it can have up to uh, 40 50 minutes of run time dr goenka young boys and girls making india proud as chairman of in space does this excite you fascinating uh, pallav this is really amazing what i see here uh, i think certainly deserve the first position as it says there and i think uh, what is really exciting to see this is that number of teams that came forward to participate in this and the enthusiasm i talked to many of them with which they work on this project i think it took them about 8 9 months of probably 10 12 hours a day beyond their classrooms uh, to work on it and you look at carefully it has almost all kinds of technologies in it it has mechanical engineering it has optics it has sensors it has software it has control system uh, all th everything is there so that really is helping to make them perfect engineers no matter which sector they go in uh, and i hope many of them come into the space sector so this really is a very good project that uh, was done and lot of enthusiasm so uh, dr goenka you are known for your speciality in automobiles and today people are talking of autonomous cars does a rover like this and you being a person who came from mahindra and mahindra give you an opportunity that in space can actually promote autonomous cars for india and not just high in space and since you said mahindra and mahindra that's known for four wheel drive and these things are this is absolute four wheel drive right because it can go anywhere go up and down and stuff like that and yes. that was that was the car you were famous for <laughs> yes so uh, uh, clearly as we look at more and more of missions like chandrayaan 4567 there will be a lot more rover utilization and in india i think this is the first time that students have developed a rover in the uh, in western countries i have seen many places a uh, student uh, competition for rover so i'm really uh, very excited to see this and i think it can really go somewhere and just don't look at it as rover as a whole look at it as robotics for example maybe some ideas that have come in here can go in robotics industry look at the drive so there are many pieces of it that can go in uh, different places and i think rover itself uh, can create a uh, lot of a uh, lot of opportunities for the future for the students and some of these i'm sure will go into and do their own startup uh, and 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 get into a business autonomous cars autonomous i am pushing cars. you there well see look autonomous cars have moved quite far okay uh, and it's nothing but sensor and control right here you are moving uh, in a very confined space so the kind of control that you need here is lot different and frankly lot less than what you need in autonomous uh, car because anything can happen anytime so there is a connection 
uh, but I wouldn't say that this means autonomous car. So, can you take that Hanuman leap from a small rover being meant for use, say, on an extraterrestrial body to do something more meaningful for India, which is to give us autonomous cars? You are really after autonomous sure, cars? Sure, sir. Right? Sure, we will do the thing which we ask for us. Thank so, you. this is the demonstration of a rover, one which can go to the moon. And Dr. Goenka, who's a specialist on automobiles and now looking at space technology, says if many things are added, it could well be used at some point for autonomous cars. It would be a Hanuman leap, but then that is what technology is all about and youngsters are leading that charge. And you need a Jamwant to tell Hanuman to take that leap. Certainly. And yes, we have that Jamwant right here who can take India forward, not just in space. He took India forward in automobiles, now space, and who knows, autonomous cars, which sprang for a competition at the Indian Space Research Organization. With camera person Xavier Thomas in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.